Then when you are asleep, the surgical team will make an incision just above the navel. A tube-shaped collar, called a trocar, will be placed inside the incision to hold it open. Harmless carbon dioxide gas will be used to inflate the abdomen, serving to enlarge the work area and to separate the organs. The team then inserts the laparoscope. Once in place, the laparoscope will provide video images that allow the surgeon to see the inside of your abdomen. Next, the team makes four more incisions, taking special care to keep the openings as small as possible. These openings will provide access for other surgical instruments. Once the team has a clear view of the stomach, your doctor will insert a special tube into your mouth and throat. The surgical team guides the tube into your abdomen until the tip reaches the top of the stomach. At the tip of the tube, there's a balloon. Your doctor will inflate the balloon when it is in position. Using the position of the balloon as a guide, your doctor will create a space around the stomach. Next, the team will insert an adjustable band into the abdomen. After deflating the balloon, your doctor will guide the band until it circles the top of the stomach. Once the band is in place, the team will check the position by reinflating the balloon. After making any final adjustments to the position of the band, your doctor will tighten and lock it into place. Next, the team will fill the band with saline solution, causing it to further tighten around the stomach. To keep the band in place, a portion of the stomach will be pulled over the band and secured with four or five stitches. The remaining portion of the tube used to pass saline into the band will be trimmed and a special valve will be attached. The valve will be sutured into place just below the skin in the upper left area of the abdomen. This valve will allow your doctor to adjust the tightness of the band and control the size of the opening into your stomach. When the team is satisfied that the band is properly functioning, they will withdraw all surgical instruments and close the incision with sutures or staples. Finally, a sterile dressing is applied. 